Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about the more interesting topic that is photosynthesis. So, while talking about photosynthesis, what is photosynthesis? Let us see, in this name itself there is a meaning. What is photosynthesis? Photo. We can break this name into two. It is photo. Photo means light and synthesis means synthesis of organic compounds that is carbohydrate or glucose. That is glucose. So, photo means light. So, what is photosynthesis means? Preparing of light, preparation of food, preparation of organic compounds by light. It's called as photosynthesis. And where? Where this photosynthesis will occur means which occurs in plants and photosynthetic bacteria so photosynthesis does not occur only in plants it also occurs in bacteria that is photosynthetic bacteria that may be blue green blue sulfur bacteria a green sulfur bacteria purple bacteria chlorobium or halobacter and also some algae These are the organisms in which photosynthesis occurs. And how this photosynthesis occurs means this is due to the absorption of light and absorption of CO2 and relation of O2 and absorption of H2O molecules. This photosynthesis occurs. And why this photosynthesis occurs means this photosynthesis occurs this is a survival of the organism main reason is use survival of the organism and uses it used to be food for living world just the food for the living world that is without this food and this the life cannot exist that for example a steak produces means plants in primary consumers secondary consumer and tertiary consumer without the photosynthesis plants cannot survive so without plants there is no primary consumers and without primary consumers there is no secondary consumer without secondary consumer there is no tertiary consumers so plants plays a more important role in daily lives and the living organisms so via for plants without photosynthesis it cannot survive so photosynthesis plays a major role okay so and see what is photosynthesis what are the steps involved in photosynthesis and where this photosynthesis occurs in plants so where the photosynthesis occurs means photosynthesis occurs in all green parts of plants that is leaves mainly in leaves stem and fruits and sepals etc these are the regions where photosynthesis take place so where the photosynthesis take place for example in leaves where the photosynthesis will take place means for let us take the dicot leaf structure elaborate on instruction of dicot leaf inside dicot leaf this is the ts structure of dicot leaf transfer section of dicot leaf in this the the leaf structure contains two epidermis the upper epidermis and lower epidermis in which the leaves also contains two types of mesophyll structures that is palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll so this palisade mesophylls would be cylindrical in structure and the spongy mesophyll will be circular in structure and this parasite mesophyll it contains chlorophylls this mesophyll contains the chlorophyll and the spongy uh, sorry chloroplast and the spongy mesophyll also contains chloroplast. chloroplast and it's mainly involved in gases exchange in plants so the spongy mesophyll mainly involved in gases exchange in plants but also it contains chloroplast so plastid plas parasite mesophyll these things is known as chloroplast 
so chloroplast photosynthesis takes place in the structure known as chloroplast it is known as chloroplast this takes place in a structure in a cell known as chloroplast okay so let's see the elaborate structure of chloroplast chloroplast contains chloroplast is a double membrane structure which is semi autonomous because it does not involved does not belong to plants this has been evolved through the years and many millions of years and which has been evolved to form in plants so chloroplast may be first formed in Uh, prokaryotic cells so that in prokaryotic cell it has been endosymbiont to plants for many millions of years and it has been evolved so let us see the structure of chlorophyll so chloroplast sorry chloroplast so chloroplast is a double membrane structure that is out contains two membrane that is outer membrane and inner membrane so there is an space between outer and inner membrane there is inner membrane space and inside the chloroplast there is many structures chloroplast contains circular dna more important thing it has contain circular dna this is similar to the mitochondria but it contains structure known as grana this four structures known as grana and one single structure is known as thylakoid repeating units of thylakoid is known as grana and each grana is interconnected through a lamella known as stroma lamella and each thylakoid is interconnected through a lamella known as grana lamella and this fluid and this fluid is known as stroma and also it contains many molecules and many cell organelles known as cytosomes and many starch granules lysosomes etc it contains okay so we have seen that in chloroplast the photosynthesis occurs how this photosynthesis occurs and what are the more important compound which is involved in photosynthesis that is chlorophyll which is present in chloroplast inside the thylakoid membrane in the same the thylakoid membranes and thylakoid so so thylakoid contains chlorophyll and xanthophyll and char denotes so these are the primary photosynthetic structures which in photosynthetic pigment which are involved in photosynthesis process these are the main pigments which are involved in photosynthesis process so we will discuss in next videos so in this video we are covering about the introduction of the photosynthesis okay and and this is the equation of the photosynthesis how the photosynthesis take place So photosynthesis involves uptake of six CO two molecules and twelve H two O molecules and utilization of light energy and it forms carbohydrates that is glucose and six H two liberate the six H two O molecules and evolution of six O two molecules. So in which photosynthesis is nothing but the so in which we can tell that photosynthesis is light energy. is converted into chemical energy chemical form or chemical energy right so in this light utilization of light is converted into chemical energy so this glucose here is updated so while this glucose has been updated through phloem we know that phloem is the transport of minerals and food is known as phloem the function of phloem is the transport of minerals and food and the function of xylem is the transport of water and minerals so phloem transport the phloem transport the glucose which has been photosynthesized from the leaf and it supplies to all parts of the plant and water molecules will be come to through xylem involved in photosynthesis and this oxygen evolved into the atmosphere okay so let's see the characteristics of chloroplast so in leaves per cell chloroplast constitute 8 percentage okay and chloroplast are a type of a green plast there are three types of plasts leucoplast amyloplast and chloroplast so it is one of a green plasts 
and this shape would be discoid ellipsoid or biconvex or lens biconvex lens shape and its length would be 4 to 10 micrometer and its breadth would be 1 to 3 micrometer so these are the characteristics of chloroplast and one important thing is is it's a stroma the stroma is the fluid which contains the all enzymes involved in photosynthesis okay and and an important thing is photosynthetic pigments what are the photosynthetic pigments means these are the pigments which are involved in photosynthesis and which capture the light energy and possess light energy to maintain the photosynthesis process and complete the photosynthesis process so what are the photosynthesis pigments means there are five types of photosynthetic pigments in plants there are only four types of photosynthetic pigments this phycobilins this photosynthetic pigments does not involve in plants i will tell you so these four pigments which are present only in thylakoids in the chloroplast first the chlorophyll a which is the bright or blue in blue green color and chlorophyll b is yellow green color and xanthophylls which is yellow in color carotenoids which is yellow to yellow orange in color these are the colors which are identified through chromatography and this phycobilins which are present in cyanobacteria red algae and cryptomonads and that like that species like that organisms so phycobilins which is not present in plants which is only present in cyanobacteria that is blue green algae and etc that organisms and there are two types of phycobilins that is phycoerythrin and phycocyanin phycoerythrin is a red in color and phycocyanin is a violet in color pigment these are the photosynthetic pigments major photosynthetic pigments which involved in photosynthesis process okay so this is the end of the video and thanks for watching so in next video we will discuss about this detailed structure of chlorophyll and what are the characteristic of chlorophyll what is chlorophyll and what are these primary photosynthetic pigments we will discuss so let's recap this session in this session we have seen about what is photosynthesis introduction so in this the photosynthesis is nothing but this you know uh, utilization of six co2 molecules and 12 h2o molecules and in presence of light and chlorophyll molecules and enzymes which converts and gives the products as glucose and 6 H2O molecules and the evaluation of 6 O2 molecules. So this is the photosynthetic process. How this process will be in how this process occurs and what are the steps involved in this process we will discuss in next video. Okay. And in this video we have seen that location of chloroplast. Where is chloroplast? present in means inside the leaves or in green parts of plant which is present in mesophyll inside the mesophyll the chloroplast will be present and inside the chloroplast there is a structure called a thylakoid disc like structure called a thylakoid inside the thylakoid there is a photosynthetic pigments that is chlorophyll A, B, xanthophylls and carotenoids these are the photosynthetic pigments which involved in major role in photosynthesis okay so this is the end of the video Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe my channel. Thank you.